Rocket Lab, this is going to be a massive video. This is why we don't believe that Amazon is Rocket Lab's Reaction World customer. This is between the Hustle Brothers, Christopher Bell, and Francisco Ramirez. Great research. Reese, do a bit of a background on Amazon and why people believe that Amazon is the Reaction World customer. And then what we'll do throughout the video, we'll dissect why we don't believe this is the case and we'll give you hard facts on this. So all of Rocket Lab investors have heard that Adam Spice in 2023 had stated that they'd made a major deal with a contractor who was going to be providing a major consolation for thousands of reaction wheels per year. Now, the details of this deal is that we know that the deal has been made and there was a 90% discount. So at the moment, there's only a few major commercial entities that are in the space industry that would be able to purchase this amount of reaction wheels. So we've got SpaceX with Starlink, we've got China SatNet with Goang, and then of course, what this video is all about, Amazon with Kuiper. And these are the only providers that will need this amount of reaction wheels. So that leaves us with three commercial entities that we could be looking at. And I think this is what's sort of made these questions like ring alarm bells for the likes of me, you, Christopher, and Francisco. And uh, it's been quite a doozy when we've uh, actually opened it up. Yeah. So have you the figures there on how much satellites Kuiper is required to make before we tear this down? So at the moment, they have a 3,236 satellites, but they'll also need four reaction wheels per satellite. So that comes to 12,944 wheels. So that's where people are getting that a couple thousand reaction wheels per year deal. They're putting the two and two together and they're saying that them numbers are sort of stacking up. And to be honest, at first glimpse, when I was reading through this, I was like, of course that's what it is. Um, and going through it, that's when you're starting to understand that there's a few questions here that just don't add up. And I think that's what we've got to go through now with the community here. Um, because once you actually do look further than the initial piece of information, you understand that this is built on a house of sand. Yeah, These aren't strong foundations. So anyone that doesn't know what a reaction well is, it'll give you a deeper understanding on where we're going with this. So reaction wheel basically controls the attitude of the satellite. Normally they require four reaction wheels, one on each side of the satellite, with a slight asterisk there. And I'm going to leave the asterisk to later on in this video. So Reese, you've dived into how the retail investor believe this is Amazon because they're more or less putting two and two together. Yeah. But the big question is, Amazon is a public company. Rocket Lab is a public company. Why is it confidential? Why is it classified? As a public entity, why wouldn't you just tell who you're supplying your reaction wheels to? It's no benefit to anyone else so yes, we can sort of see they're doing them at a 90% discount, but it kind of goes in the fact that people that believe that it's Amazon also have that same belief that Rocket Lab's cancellation is going to be in competition with the likes of Starlink. So in theory, why would you give the likes of Amazon a 90% discount, basically a leg up on you, and then bring out your own cancellation going forward. So I think we're going to dive into who we think it could be. And I'm going to uncover that asterisk. So when we're talking about military satellites, these require up on six reaction wheels per satellite. This is because you need a redundancy feature within the satellite. Because basically, if you send a satellite up to space 
and one of your reaction wheels fails and it's a critical military piece of equipment up in space if one reaction wheel fails and you don't have a redundant system basically that is your system kaput and if you now have that system being relied upon by different satellites in the network you can basically take down the whole system so this is why yes we can say amazon have a what did you say 3200 satellites in their yeah. kuiper constellation However, it may only require 1,500 satellites if we're going after the likes of the military. Another yes. thing I want to look at, Race, is the duration. And we're going to get into the exact reaction wheel we believe has been ordered by this customer. So when we're looking at the reaction wheels, we can separate it into two segments. We have your military and we have your commercial. So with military satellites, you need them to be highly reliable. As we've said, we can't have them failing. They need to be highly resistant to temperature and radiation. And they also have to be highly accurate. There can't be much jittering about. Whereas the likes of your commercial customer are more looking for a cost-effective approach. They just want something light that can do the job if we compare it to the likes of a Kuiper satellite, they'd be up in about low Earth orbit for between five to seven years, where most of your military satellites are looking between 10 to 15 years, which is long lasting. Reese, have you anything to add to this? Yeah. So I think that um, in terms of the initial quantity, I think some of us, well, I can speak for myself as the average uh, retail investor. I just don't think that we thought big enough. We were thinking, obviously, that there was going to be the only two of the main commercial players, um, and we weren't thinking sort of outside of the box. Um, but I think what we're going to explain now to everyone is there are a lot of dominoes that seem to just fall into place and align perfectly, and it could be a complete coincidence. We could be miles off, but... There's just too many things that are almost exactly as they would need to be for it to be this customer. One of the main problems I have with this is with that 90% discount. I want to reiterate the point that you made that you wouldn't give a 90% discount to a direct competitor. It would obviously give them the advantage. And I can't imagine what benefit that would see for Rocket Lab. Yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe Jeff Bezos is very very generous stuff to you're nice to him but like there is just no real benefit um i can't see anything further than the fact that maybe they weren't a good working relationship whereas on the other side if you're opening the door with someone that you could have a, a full contract because we have to remember at the end of the day this is just buying reaction wheels this yeah. isn't a uh, rocket lab and amazon are at no point going to be in contract with each other so is giving a 90% discount sort of a sweetener to get a better deal later on with another party. That's sort of more along the lines. That sounds, to me, that sounds a lot more believable and a lot more likely than Peter Beck and Jeff Bezos had a few beers and now they give 90%. 90% yeah. is a big, big saving. Yeah, well, I agree. Like, I want to get back to the point that Look, we're talking about 90%, yeah? We've said these Kuiper satellites are up there between five to seven years, yeah? Yeah. So why, after five to seven years, look, you're going to have to replace them along the way. And what? You're now going to turn around to Amazon and basically tell them there's a 90% markup on what you originally paid. There'd be no point. And then you're also enabling the likes of Kuiper, like you said, to get up and running before... Some of you believe Rocket Lab create their own communication constellation. I just don't know yeah. why they'd be helping a direct competitor like that and then just not telling anyone about it. Yeah. And then if you go down the alley that you've just went down there, sweetening up the deal. So as Risa said, this is just the reaction wheels. And it could be just to get in there 
with the likes of the Department of Defense. We know we have that SDA deal. And if you sweep not the likes of the Department of Defense, the likes of neutrons coming down the line, and we've another big thing to say about neutron that we'll cover further on the series. Yeah. But one thing I really have to talk about before we get into what the reaction will is and why we believe it's that reaction will. If you look at the proliferation of the likes of the military side of the US, or even we can look at the UK, like we got that deal out yesterday with haste where yeah, they're yeah. going to be doing more haste missions with both the US and the UK. But if you look at like Skynet 6, that's around 5 billion. And I just believe this industry is much bigger than going after a customer like Amazon that could potentially be a competitor going forward. And then, if you think, Kuiper have already launched satellites. So why all of a sudden is Amazon changing their supplier to Rocket Lab? Like, the, that really doesn't make sense. That is one of the things that we, we had to look into. Um, and one of the only other suppliers was Honeywell. Um, yep. But we've seen that in 2010 that they had problems with their grease traps. Um, and this resulted in a lot of queries behind, uh, a lot of queries behind Honeywell. Um, and that would sort of align with our thinking in terms of if you were going to be working for a military operation, let's say, they want to know that they've got a high performance and high quality that they can rely on. And they more certainly wouldn't be using Honeywell then. Well, you wouldn't wait if there's been a massive scandal. You'd be trying to use an alternative supplier. And who could that be? <laughs> well, this is it. And I think this is where it gets even more exciting. I'm going to share the screen here, Reese. So, yes, I think if you look, let's... we have on X, Rocket Lab put up on March 7th. And this is a picture of your reaction wall. Yeah. So you can see it's in a nicely branded Rocket Lab box. We can see they're lined up in stacks of three on yeah. pallets. Now, I've done a bit of diving around today. And this is probably the most saddest thing I've ever said on this channel. But the size of a pallet is around 122 centimeters. So if you divide that by three, and then take out a little bit, you're coming in the range of around 30 to 40 centimeters per box. And they're probably, look, they're about half the size up than they are across. So we can say around 15 centimeters. And that is hustle brother maps there. That's it, yeah, quick maps. Let's jump into what reaction will we believe that is. So if you go on, this is what reaction will you can see is being held by our lovely colleague in Rocket Lab here. So this reaction wheel is the largest wheel in production designed for long life and reliability. Why would Amazon be going for their largest wheel that is not cost effective with long life and it's highly reliable? Yes, you can say it needs to be reliable to a certain degree, Yep. But the likes of Kuiper will be going after smaller reaction wheels that are less long lasting because they don't need they, it'd be like going after a two year battery when you're only going to use your camera once. <laughs> so then if we jump across to the data sheet on this, we can see this fits nicely into what size we believe these reaction wheels are. If we then go across to it, we can see they've clearly advertised here. They're long life and reliable. So then we can clearly see here that they're highly temperature resistant and their radiation 
is above par. Why would Amazon be going for such a glamorous reaction wheel yeah. when you basically need just the all steady reaction wheel? What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, 100%. I think the easiest way to sort of put this in layman's terms is that the commercial companies will go for high quantity and low quality, whereas you will see that the military operations will have a higher quality and the quantity will, will vary. But they want that high quality because you've got to think about the security that there'll be, there's a strenuous amount of security that they need to go through and they need to be very stringent and they can't let any of these satellites be hacked into, for example, or worse comes to worse, if one of these uh, reaction wheels did not work. That's what we were saying about before, about the uh, the redundant features that we'll need um, to make sure that nothing happens to these satellites and that they're operational throughout. I think that it's um, very interesting, though, that we are, once we're speaking about security, that you did mention about the uh, UK Skynet program and that this wouldn't just be bespoke to the US. Um, have you got any thoughts on that? Yeah, I think that would be massive. And that's why I think this whole Rocket Lab defense program isn't just going to be the US. It's going to be the likes of the US. It's going to be Europe. It's going to be the UK. Um, you could even see the likes of Australia using that. But there was another little nugget I found. So if you think Trump is quite upset about the amount of semiconductors being built in Taiwan, yeah. what else is Taiwan planning? The whole government wants to use Kuiper. Now, a lot of Rocket Lab's business is to do with the US military. Do you think the US military will be best pleased if Rocket Lab was enabling intelligence for Taiwan? Not directly, but in a backhanded way, Rocket Lab would be enabling Taiwan to have Kuiper if Kuiper was the satellite. What's your thoughts on that one? I don't know about the reaction wheels, because um, would it, they just say that they're supplying them and they've sort of washed their hands with it. Um, but I could see if we're going back to the point of, oh, Amazon going to try and start working with them, then obviously that can't be allowed because, it, to be honest, I'm very surprised that Amazon are uh, working hand in hand with them, knowing that there are quite a lot of political tensions over there i would say yeah. um especially the way that china and america are going at the moment with tariffs and taiwan's sovereignty um i think that yeah i'm very surprised that them two are going to be working hand in hand and i'd imagine that the u.s military will not look on that very favorably so i'm very happy that they're not getting involved with with that well as far as the Hustle Brothers are concerned. <laughs> yeah. And like, really, if you think about it, like, with the likes of Neutron coming out, some people believe they'll be delivering some of these Kuiper satellites. But I believe differently. And I think that is a nice way to lead it onto our next video on why Neutron may not just be as commercial as you think.